This video will show you how to configure and use the radial menu feature. The radial menu provides you with quick access to custom tools and functions in addition to your express key settings through an easy to use and navigate pie shaped menu. You can set it up for all applications or even customize it for individual programs. Let's get started. First off, you can set any of your express keys or even the buttons on the pen to open the radial menu. To set up an express key or your pen switch to open the radial menu, Open Wacom Tablet Properties, choose the Express Key or Pen Switch that you want to set, and then choose Radial Menu from the drop-down menu. Now, when you press a button set to the Radial Menu, a semi-transparent menu will pop up at the location of your screen cursor. Let's take a closer look at the Radial Menu itself. The top menu is divided into eight slices, which can be easily customized. Select one of these eight options by clicking on the corresponding slice in the Radial Menu to activate its function. If a slice is set to a sub-menu, it will bring up another pie with eight more slices from which to choose. The radial menu allows you to quickly access a wealth of functions within just one or two clicks. For example, I have mine set up to readily adjust the brush opacity. Now let's take a look at how I created this for Photoshop. To change the settings for the radial menu, you'll want to open your control panel and select the functions icon in the tool list. I have added Photoshop so that I can have a radial menu specifically for that program. Select Photoshop in the application list and then go to the radial menu tab. When you build your radial menus, think about the arrangement and what layouts will be most efficient for how you work. Once you've selected the slice you want to use for opacity, select Submenu from the Functions drop-down and then name it Opacity in the Label field. On the far left menu tree, select the new Submenu Opacity. To define each slice of the Opacity radial menu, I broke my eight slices into the Opacity settings I used the most, 10, 25, 50, 75, 90, and 100. I use X for toggling for and background colors, and D to reset the colors back to the default black and white. Now in Photoshop, I can press the Express key and quickly select Opacity with the pen. Then select the appropriate opacity for the task at hand. Toggle the for and background colors or even reset the foreign background colors back to their defaults. I use all of these frequently when working with layer masks and adjustment layers. On the radial menu tab, you'll notice a default button. If you ever think you've messed up, just click the default button to reset the functions back to Wacom's default settings. Then you can go back and try again. When you use the radial menu button, you'll notice that the menu closes after you make a selection, unless it has a submenu. Holding down the Express key that opens the radial menu allows you to click on a menu item without closing the radial menu. To close the radial menu without making a selection, click on the X located in the center of the radial menu, the button that brought up the radial menu, or on a control slice that has no function assigned to it. I hope this helps explain the radial menu. Try to see how it can help you work or play faster and easier than ever. We have more videos and webinars at Wacom.com or YouTube.com slash Wacom.